New Era University Integrated School is now accepting applicants for academic year 2022-2023. Integrated school offers nursery, kindergarten, elementary, junior high school, and senior high school, offering the following tracks and strands. Academic track, accountancy, business, and management, general academic strand, humanities and social sciences, and science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Arts and design track, literary and theater arts, media and visual arts, and music strand. Technical Vocational Livelihood Track, Home Economics, and Information Communication Technology Strand. We also offer a special education program. New Era University is a PAYAC participating school and accepts senior high school vouchers. So what are you waiting for? Inquire and apply now. To our dear students and their supportive parents, to the faculty and staff, to the administrative officials, this is the 2022 Senior High School Commencement Exercises of the New Era University. For today's program, we invited a very special keynote speaker to give our graduates an inspiring message. For 21 years, he has been the husband and partner of, as he puts it, one very heroic wife. He is the father of two daughters with strikingly different but complementary personalities. His pet turtle would say that he is a kind and caring master if only it could talk. He is connected with the Christian Era Broadcasting Service International Incorporated the broadcast arm of the Church of Christ. Meanwhile, the Iglesiani Cristo School for Ministers kindly allows him to teach some of the students enrolled there. He also gladly reports that Tapasugo, God's Message magazine, the official publication of the Church of Christ still patiently edits its contributions, few and far between though they are, so that they see the light of day, or in this case, appear on the printed page. Two years into the pandemic, he still struggles to complete his daily lessons on Duolingo, but claims that he is not a quitter. Let's all welcome Brother Joy Edwill D.C. Zabala. To the graduating students, the parents and guardians, the administration, teachers and staff, of NEUIS, a good day to all of you. Due to the kindness of brothers Sibul and Salenga, I was shown a copy of the NEUIS Framework of Graduates' Attributes. And in it, I read that all learning outcomes are geared towards the student's character and competence development. Now, part of the stated aim of the NEUIS is that students and graduates will become dynamic leaders. By that, it is meant that they have the ability to motivate others based on good examples they set. They are able to obey those above them. They are resilient and can overcome challenges and motivate others to do the same. 
It's stating the obvious to say that having the resilience to overcome challenges is truly important and that dynamic leaders have that quality. We are thankful, therefore, that the NEUIS is striving to inspire young people to become dynamic leaders. Such quality is all the more important in light of the impact of the pandemic on the youth. One of the long-term consequences of this pandemic was already being projected as early as two years ago. In a United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs economic analyst analysis rather, that was made available online in 2020, it was reported that the World Bank estimates that the current school closures will cost over 7 million primary and secondary students to drop out, substantially decreasing their expected lifetime earnings and drastically increasing their chances of living in poverty. Some 24 million additional children and youth may drop out or not have access to school next year due to the pandemic's economic impact alone. Not only that, according to data in 2021, more than a third, 37 percent, of U.S. high school students reported that they experienced poor mental health during the COVID-19 pandemic, and 44 percent reported they persistently felt sad or hopeless during the past year. Hence, I'm sure that you will agree with me when I say that it is absolutely necessary for young people to imbibe and develop the qualities that contribute to making dynamic leaders, people who are resilient and do not easily surrender when faced with challenges and adversity. The Bible is replete with the stories and histories of people who were dynamic leaders during their time. One of them was the leader whom God used so that ancient Israel would be able to enter and settle the land he had promised to them. His name was Joshua. Many leaders in our time acknowledge that they were inspired by the example of Joshua. One of them is General Douglas MacArthur. And he was reported to have once listed Joshua as one of the great generals in the history of the world. However, did you know that different translations of the Bible use different terms to describe Joshua's office? In some, he is called a minister. In others, he is called an attendant. Now, there are those that use the word adjutant. Still, others use the word lieutenant. None of these translations ever called Joshua a general. But what cannot be denied is that Joshua indeed led the ancient Israelites in entering and settling the land promised to them. Now, the extent of the territory he was to conquer after crossing the Jordan River was mentioned in Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. It says there, and I quote, As was promised to Moses, their territory would extend to the desert, to Lebanon, and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country, to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. However, before Joshua received the duty as the successor of Moses, he was first fully trained by the Lord God for the task he was to fulfill. Hence, one who wants to have the resilience to overcome challenges as a dynamic leader like Joshua must also be well taught, well trained, and go through different tests and trials. For example, Moses entrusted Joshua with leading the Israelites in their battle against the Amalekites. That is recorded in Exodus 17.9. Joshua was the one who accompanied Moses in going up Mount Sinai to receive the two tablets of stone inscribed with the Ten Commandments. And that's in Exodus 24, 12 to 13. Joshua was one of the twelve who was sent to scout the land that they would be entering. That's in Numbers chapter 13, verse 8 and 16. And before he died, 
Moses gave Joshua the instructions of the Lord God as to what he was to do concerning Israel. That's in Deuteronomy 31, 1 to 8. When Joshua came onto the scene, so to speak, it was a time of great crisis and conflict. Joshua's time was not a carefree time. It was a time when Israel was threatened by powerful armies from without and by moral decay from within. It was a time requiring decisive action. In other words, it was a time very similar to our own. At present, we are living through many different kinds of crises. One of these is a crisis of morals. Did you know that society considers the word sin to be an outmoded concept? In our culture, everyone is free. If you take a look at entertainment media, the press, social media, learning institutions, and even governments, you will notice that the moral principles upheld by those who believe in the almighty creator, they're no longer truly valued by the majority. At present, we have a crisis of leadership. Many countries have ballooning debts and budget deficits. Many are slowly but surely inching towards economic disaster. Many leaders have shown themselves unwilling or incapable of making hard but necessary decisions. And many government leaders have lost the trust and respect of their citizens whom they should be leading and serving. At present, we are also living through a crisis in society. Poverty, illegal drugs, ignorance, crime, and the spread of different infectious diseases all are reaching heights that cannot be arrested. Many have lost hope that this frightening trend can still be reversed. At present, we are living through a crisis of faith. Many different preachers have appeared claiming that they are of God and will be saved. Many have been persuaded that faith alone is enough to be saved. Many blindly follow false preachers who entice people with promises of material blessings in this life. In light of all of these, people are looking for modern-day Joshuas, those who will create positive change and guide others out of hopelessness. Joshua's example of dynamic leadership is all the more important today. But here's the question. Was Joshua born a dynamic leader? He wasn't. Joshua's preparation for leadership was long. He was prepared under a great leader, God's messenger, Moses. Moses was a leader who took his responsibility seriously, and one who wants to be a dynamic leader today should be prepared for the same. An early Jewish historian named Josephus believed that Joshua was approximately 40 years old when he left Egypt under the leadership of Moses. At the beginning of the book of Joshua, Moses was already dead, and Joshua was approximately 80 years old. So notice, God's preparation of Joshua was complete at that age. He was ready to succeed Moses and fulfill the duty of leading the ancient nation of Israel. So this should give hope and confidence to anyone who wants to be a dynamic leader in whatever field. We live at a time when so many people lack perseverance and are impatient. Many who are in their 20s are saying to themselves, well, I should already be in a position of leadership now. I should have been promoted to the highest position by now. Why can't people see my abilities? Why aren't my qualities being rewarded? Well, the example of Joshua should teach and encourage all of us if we are becoming impatient. His experience shows that Joshua, he was exactly where he had to be so that his personality and capabilities as well as knowledge could be honed. The book of Joshua in the Bible gives us even greater insight. Joshua was more than a great strategist, more than a great dynamic leader. He was someone who knew how to listen 
to the one who was the true leader of the ancient nation of Israel, none other than the Lord God. So, although Moses had died, God was alive. And God himself would now speak directly to Joshua. That's in Joshua 1, the verses are 1 to 9. Joshua did indeed listen to the Lord. Filled with hope, he waited near the fast-flowing waters of the Jordan River to hear the voice of the Lord God. And Joshua was not disappointed. When God's servants give time to listen, God always sends His words. In our time, the Lord God communicates by means of His written word taught by His commissioned preachers. Also, by means of experiences or as moved by the Spirit of the Lord God. Back then, the Lord God spoke by means of dreams or visions or by means of the high priest or by means of God's voice that could be heard. By whatever means God spoke to Joshua then, the message came to him loud and clear. Although Moses was already dead, yet God's plan was still very much alive. And Joshua was now the primary instrument for, fu for fulfilling the Lord God's plan. Joshua didn't say, for example, well, now remember Moses? Now there was a man who was a great leader, and we will never see another one like Moses ever again. But Moses is dead. Though he was a great man, still, he's now dead. Joshua didn't say that. Instead, Joshua rose up and faced the challenges before him. In Joshua's mind were the instructions of the Lord God. He was to rise up and cross the Jordan River. He was not to look back in despair. He was to fulfill the task that the Lord had placed before him. Joshua held on to the great promise made to him. We quote, Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified nor dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Was it only to Joshua that the Lord God gave such a powerful promise, which is why he was able to lead the ancient Israelites in the face of great odds? No. The same Lord God said the following when He prophesied about the great work of salvation in these last days, the ends of the earth. And let me quote, I brought you from the ends of the earth. I called you from its farthest corners and said to you, You are my servant. I did not reject you but chose you. Do not be afraid. I am with you. I am your God. Let nothing terrify you. I will make you strong and help you. I will protect you and save you. When my people in their need look for water, when their throats are dry with thirst, then I, the Lord, will answer their prayer. I, the God of Israel, will never abandon them. This is written in Isaiah chapter 41. The verses are 9 to 10 and 17. Now, the ends of the earth or of the world, that's equivalent to the time when the end is about to come. That's in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 11. And that is the time we belong to. So yes, we are faced with difficulties. We don't deny that. So many have lost loved ones as a result of the pandemic. Others lost their source of livelihood. Some of you may be asking yourselves whether your parents can still provide you with the kind of education that you are looking forward to. However, there is no reason to surrender or lose hope. As NEUIS students and graduates, you have been exposed to information as well as experiences that, if cultivated and nurtured, will help to create resilient and successful leaders, modern-day Joshua's. So, before we end this, this short talk, let us ask ourselves, do we want to be dynamic leaders, dynamic leaders of ourselves and of others? Do we want to be modern-day Joshua's? If yes, then let us begin by first fully believing in the Almighty 
whom Moses and Joshua served. Let us accept that the Almighty is the true leader of His people, and He has good plans for them. As Joshua patiently accepted instruction and training, let us also accept that the Lord God uses instruments to train us. As Joshua listened to the Lord God, let us also learn to listen to Him. After all, He created all of us. As Joshua was steadfast in holding on to the Lord God's promise when he faced the challenges before him, let us be the same. And as Joshua was not daunted by the problems he faced, let us also face our problems filled with hope in God's promises. For as the Lord God said, based on what we read to you earlier, when His people are in need, He will answer their prayers. The Lord God will never abandon them. This was true in the past. It remains true today. And it will remain true until the end. Thank you to all of you for giving to me some of your precious time. Our gratitude goes to our commencement speaker for that very encouraging keynote speech. We hope that our graduates have listened attentively to his words so that they can use these in pursuing their dreams. To show our gratitude to our keynote speaker, Brother Edwill, we present to you this plaque of appreciation which reads, New Era University Integrated School awards this plaque of appreciation to Brother Joy Edwill D.C. Zabala for sharing his time and invaluable insight as a keynote speaker in the graduation ceremony of the New Era University Integrated School Senior High School Department held at the New Era University. Given this 28th of June, 2022 at New Era University, Quezon City, Philippines. Signed by the University President, Dr. Nilo L. Rosas, and the Chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Attorney Dorothy Christine M. Orosa. Again, thank you, Brother Edwil Zabala. To our dear graduates, we hope that you will carry this message all throughout your academic journey and that this will serve as a reminder that education is one of the keys to your success. For the main part of our program, may we call on the Integrated School Principal, Brother Sunday S. Sibul, for the presentation of the candidates for graduation. To our University President, Dr. Nilo L. Rosas, we are grateful to our Lord God to present to you the 993 candidates for graduation for academic year 2021-2022 of the Integrated School Senior High School Program who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the curriculum prescribed by this university and the Department of Education of the Republic of the Philippines. By virtue of the powers vested in me by the Board of Trustees of New Era University and by the authority of the Department of Education, or DepEd, of the Republic of the Philippines, I now confer upon you your diplomas with all the duties, obligations, rights, and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 graduates of Senior High School from New Era University. Accountancy, Business and Management. Twelve ABM one Ruigi P. Abinir, 
with academic honors. John Red Vincent B. Alcaraz, service awardee with academic honors. James Russell Z. Angeles. Jobert B. Contiveros. Nathan Jacob D. Mejia. Job Eisen P. Palahoren with academic honors. Jamil S. Patriarca. Eliza C. Abrilio. Ray Ann Francine S. Balmores. Cara Faith M. Baril with academic honors. Catherine P. Baris with academic honors. Lovely Jade Q. Borromeo. Nicole L. Buenaventura with academic honors. Ara Cristina J. Cantalejo with academic honors. Verna L. Capili with academic honors. Criselle J. U. Cataroja, service awardee with academic honors. Marlita B. Chan with academic honors. Mosarama L. Diamond with academic honors. Marialen L. Dionio with academic honors. Bernadette D. Hennis. Maurice S. Hippolito, service awardee with academic honors. Mayumi T. Legaspi, with academic honors. Mary Ann J. Lubang. Christina Micaela C. Magdael, loyalty awardee with academic honors. Carmela F. Mangada, with academic honors. Stephanie Rain M. Maranan, with academic honors. Jane Beatrice D. Mirasol, with academic honors. Fiona May M. Montianto with academic honors. Apple R. Palma with academic honors. Marie Chanel S. Quinante. Diana Ann May M. Rodriguez with academic honors. Eliza Kim D. Romero with academic honors. Trisha A. Sakdalan with academic honors. Royaline M. Villanueva with academic honors. Maria Bianca R. Vitaliano with academic honors. Twelve ABM two Edelberto N. Anilao the third Service Awardee with Academic Honors 
Grisha Miko L. Daroy. Genesis J. L. Lopez. Service Awardee with Academic Honors. Prince J. M. T. Malvesino. Loyalty Awardee with Academic Honors. Mark Eliazar R. Protasio. Mark Ryan M. Salaguste. Janelle Aubrey S. Adamos with Academic Honors. Nuella Diane B. Alonzo with Academic Honors. Sweet Angel B. Batake with Academic Honors. Ashley Kate C. Bernardo. Altea B. Kalipusan with Academic Honors. Elaine L. Giochino with Academic Honors. Carla Camille A. Fetchalim with Academic Honors. Alisa Gaor with Academic Honors. Kimberly Clarice G. Gubat, Service Awardee with Academic Honors. Jade Nicole S. Javier. Service Awardee with Academic Honors Christine Ann B. Magayon with Academic Honors Micah Angela C. Mangapis with Academic Honors Yesha Marie M. Marcelo with Academic Honors Rachel Ann D. Nalus with Academic Honors. Joanne B. Ordillas with Academic Honors. Dian Laika S. Pagador with Academic Honors. Alia I. Pampa with Academic Honors. Maria Chatlea Quisto with Academic Honors. John May D. Sapul with Academic Honors. Carol H. Sulapas with Academic Honors. Lara Jane C. Tablizo with Academic Honors. Gedzi Gwyneth Michelle R. Tavas with Academic Honors. Lovely Angel R. Tuyogon with Academic Honors. Kathleen Louise M. Obias. Mary Ann A. Vitales. With Academic Honors. Twelve ABM three. Edelson G. Bravo, Loyalty Awardee. With Academic Honors. Justin C. Cabrera. With Academic Honors. Arjun A. Fabros. Gamaliel D. Fano. Yuan Justine C. Gardiner.
Stephen Joseph S. Ochenko John Earl B. Reca Plaza Maria Angelica D. Bilaos with academic honors Kairina Denise P. Bornillo Elaine Myrtle L. Branya with academic honors Eliza May L. Brace with academic honors Isel Joy G. Clemente Liesa May P. De La Peña with academic honors Ariana Jessica D. Dordas Rayanessa May P. Esmundo with academic honors Michelle Georgine P. Lorzano, Service Awardee with Academic Honors. Micaela S. Lugo, Service Awardee with Academic Honors. Kite Maurice S. Manalo, Service Awardee with Academic Honors. Cheska Rain A. Manlang Samantha Angela T. Manuel Kiara Elaine D. Molion With Academic Honors Eliza Rose Isabella R. Mauricio with academic honors Angela B. Ojeda with academic honors Kale Zebrain O. Santa Isabel Service Awardee with academic honors Karina Andre T. Takutako with academic honors Khalil Ariel A. Vela, Loyalty Awardee, with Academic Honors. Arian Jaya M. Villare, Twelve, ABM Four. Charles Franklin T. Labau with Academic Honors Anil Lance B. Lequiron Jason C. Montales with Academic Honors John Mark C. Montales with Academic Honors Prince Lloyd P. Santa Cruz with Academic Honors Arnie Maxine E. Acosta Loyalty Awardee with Academic Honors Mary Jo Agassi with Academic Honors Ciara Leigh C. Austria with Academic Honors Rain Francine B. Bertilio Leibini C. Bowie Loyalty Awardee With Academic Honors Denise Marie P. Buenaventura With Academic Honors Erin Brain P. Buhayo with Academic Honors Daniela Catherine P. Carallos
Bea Micaela F. Dominguez with academic honors. Villalulu C. Francisco with academic honors. Irish C. Makarae with academic honors. Crystal Lay G. Policarpio, loyalty awardee. Margot Denise D. Reyes, Loyalty Awardee, with Academic Honors. Juliana Rain Salayo, Service Awardee. Aliana M. Taal, with Academic Honors. Alia Pamela S. Tumala, Service Awardee with Academic Honors Fatima Abigail M. Ulama Glyzel Kale P. Wamil Twelve ABM five Arman S. Dandan with academic honors Jonas B. Loma Alnor A. Macapado with academic honors. Raven Chloe M. Torales Shannon Kyle G. Badoy Hera S. Barbasina Marit Hermion M. Katage with academic honors Justine Nicola T. Cruz Sheila May C. Daklan Loyalty Awardee with academic honors Regina Cariza Del Campo Trisha Erica May M. Divina Gracia, Loyalty Awardee. Sandara A. Espinosa. Nachere Fran G. Garcia. Altea Maurice B. Griego, with academic honors. Francine Gail R. Makatangan with academic honors. Kyla C. Nepomuceno. Micaela O. Paga with academic honors. Camille D. Suyong with academic honors. Humanities and Social Sciences 12 Views 1 Ru Earl M. Baroga Service Awardee with Academic Honors Rolin Christian M. Bautista Service Awardee with Academic Honors R.J. R. Senson Roberto A. Fernandez Mark Allen C. Lotilia John Carlo H. Mendoza 
Daniel T. Montalian with academic honors. Kurt Donnell C. Omboy. Mala C. Ordanza. Service awardee. Luis Mauricio Pineda. Loyalty awardee with academic honors. Jose Antonio A. Quebrad. Service awardee with academic honors. Dandre H. Sismundo. Christine Joy G. Acosta with academic honors. Nicole E. Alejos. Aslia R. Alem with academic honors. Elaine Jened B. Aniban service awardee with academic honors. Lovely Jane S. Bacani Aldane Rain B. Bautista With Academic Honors Jasmine D. Buenconcejo Service Awardee With Academic Honors Jerch Micaela S. Dalida Service Awardee With Academic Honors Flat Valley Victoria Eunice P. Esmundo with Academic Honors Nizel Joy O. Figueroa with Academic Honors Emeline D. Gallo with Academic Honors Fatima P. Gonsi with Academic Honors Rujana A. Jaani with academic honors. Gail Kyla E. Lua service awardee with academic honors. Kirsten D. Mahilo with academic honors. Shana Melissa C. Medina with academic honors. Maria Lika A. Pagnanawa with academic honors. Raven Sky M. Ronquillo service awardee with academic honors. Ellen Joy L. Seguera. Andrea Jasmine B. Serrano with academic honors. Arabella A. Silva Mariel Jane L. Tolete Audrey Ann B. Vivero With Academic Honors 12. Hume Stu John Rovic D. Adiviso Lane Byron P. Bauto de Fort with academic honors. Daniel Cedric A. Cabanilla. Henry Jail Matthew C. Densi with academic honors. Reginald Eric D. Esteban. Mike P. Flores Norris Gabriel Fontanilla Mark Angel L. Gala Ram Miko B. Ila Jonas M. Magpantay Jovan B. Malianao 
with academic honors. Sean Paul Rojas Rat El Taroban Yuri G. Zuilan Ivy Dalane R. Abugada Natasha Micaela S. Angel with academic honors Imelda Dane L. Aragon Alexi Vianse Balakia with academic honors Rian Andre B. Balini Service Awardee with academic honors Riza D. Cruz with academic honors Stanley Jane D. Dormiendo with academic honors Jasmine V. Echagin Adrian C. Fernandez with academic honors Crystal Y. Galela Drulin T. Heraldino with academic honors Beatrice M. Lucero Jasmine A. Nandi Andriana May M. Levado with academic honors Andrea Faith A. Kinsai Hermione B. Soriano And Lizette B. Tolentino. Twelve View Street. Kyle Andre B. Castillo with academic honors. Mark Lander S. Phoebe. Justin Daniel S. Ilihai with academic honors. John Mark O. Jacob. Lawrence Andre T. Laka with academic honors. Justin Ashley Manahan. Cedric Jacob C. Mateo with academic honors. Mark Clarence L. Ocate with academic honors. Luis Nicolas C. Roque Juan Miguel G. San Victorius with academic honors. John C. P. Sia Bea Nicole S. Aguilan Service Awardee With Academic Honors Ryan Nicole M. Agrabioso Service Awardee Risha G. Balsita With Academic Honors Angel Colleen M. Bancolita with academic honors. Rizal R. Bernard with academic honors. 
Marian S. De La Cruz with academic honors Azel G. Eugenio with academic honors Rona L. Geraldo Janelle K. D. Gonzalez Hazel V. Jacinto with academic honors Yankee Bless S. Mancho with academic honors Princess Izzy R. Marmita with academic honors Princess Tonette D. Melendez Daniela T. Morphe Aubrey Yvonne P. Navarro with academic honors Hazel Doris F. Nokes with academic honors Will Angel R. B. Perez with academic honors Jasmine B. Pista with academic honors Zandara S. Kitali Service Awardee with academic honors Maria Rydel C. Shoko Mia Angela C. Soriani Service Awardee with academic honors and Clarice A. Yani. Twelve Humes Four. Jansen Blake R. Basilio. Ron Cedric S. Chavez Rain Zion V. De La Cruz Alfred R. Espinosa Jr. with academic honors Dylan Moses C. Falsario with academic honors John Andrew P. Margarito Sean Thomas C. Medrano Loyalty Awardee Prince David Arch D. Permiso Mark Angel S. Rivera Christia R. Castro with academic honors. Alexis Jane B. Shentos. Service awardee with academic honors. Natasha Anya M. Kulia with academic honors. Asia Isabel V. De Guzman with academic honors. Sharami S. Deda Zaira K. O. Elkani with academic honors Erika Lorraine Q. Estrada Angelica L. Fernando Alia Billy J. Firmalino with academic honors Paula Kirsten Y. Gloria with academic honors Althea Bianca G. Gonzalez
Alisa Grace A. Guillermo with academic honors. City Asia A. Hanning. Marnilin A. Hementera. Liza B. Hino. Barbara Don L. Hipolito. Luella Veda Anika G. Lopez. With academic honors. Christian Joy G. Macario Kaislin R. Manzon With Academic Honors Alexis Bea L. Nase Maylin Joy B. Petinas With Academic Honors Owen Charlene C. Peregrino Shane Jasmine C. Kenyanola Loyalty Awardee with Academic Honors Dal Jamaica C. Quinto Angel Eliza B. Regis Ira Jade R. Tabelli Service Awardee with Academic Honors 12 Fumes 5 Rainier V. Bulan Abdullah Jibril Y. Dandamo with Academic Honors Edsel J. P. Diaz with academic honors. Aljon Lebron M. Encherto with academic honors. Edre David D. Flores Loyalty Awardee. Zaldi T. Legaspi II. Sean Irvin B. Miranda Mark Lawrence N. Perico Juan Victor Rafael V. Rivera Harold Hendrix D. Tumane with academic honors Rada F. Walla with academic honors. Krisha Eunice S. Agapito. Angela Cheryl L. Angeles. Loyalty awardee with academic honors. Cassie Dominic Artienda. Ashley Judd R. Cabarubias with academic honors Alec Ira V. Castillo Nicole Elaine S. Chua Service Awardee with academic honors Kyle Franzine P. Conde Daniel Jasmine Korja Katrina May M. Diaz Achievement Awardee Valerie C. Dinga Maria A. L. Buzetti Samantha Nicole P. Lianza Eranya Angela J. Macaraeg with academic honors Winona D. Nedel With academic honors 
Katrina May e Nicole. Jay Margaret C. Montales. Ayesha Mika V. Sale with Academic Honors. Frances Aimee A. Soriano with Academic Honors. Yumi Joyce V. Tamoro with Academic Honors. Technical Vocational Livelihood Track. Home Economics Strand. 12 HE1. John Yuri T. Dizon. Francis Albert S. Gime. Jean Carl Emerson L. Manalo. Richford Ferdy S. Muirong. Marielle S. Siriban Service Awardee Information and Communication Technologies Strand 12 ICT 1 Ken Louis Gray PS Acuna Achievement Awardee Sean Randall James C. Alanton John Gerald A. Almira Yuan Lei C. Alvarez Rafael M. Bernardo Kenneth G. Castro Xander Kyle P. Constantino with Academic Honors Boris Gamaliel D. Duque Sebastian Maverick C. Escobar with Academic Honors Ross Edward N. Hirai Jemuel P. Illustre with Academic Honors John James V. Lim Achievement Awardee Roby Ezekiel L. Lectana Jabby A. Mendoza Service Awardee French Anthony D. Montajes Loyalty Awardee Renz Mark B. Navarro Aldre C. Pabilona with Academic Honors Vincent Nathaniel A. Pasha Mark Caravin D. Perfecto with Academic Honors Christian Christopher a. Rulian Dirk F. Sakyaten Shurjun C. Salar Kenji G. Silvano John Paul A. Santa Rita Sean Lexi M. Superio Rainier Albert C. Tibong Shannon Bly G. De La Cruz Achievement Awardee Meg Julia M. Regoroso Service Awardee 12 ICT 2 Ken 
Alner, Jean V. Arguelles, Christian R. Brinya, Louise Joshua D. Bulatao, with academic honors, John Sherwin P. Cabildo, with academic honors. The Artaniel A. Catabona with academic honors. Van Jarl R. De La Peña. Adriel Cedric B. Florante. Loyalty Awardee with academic honors. Bernardo M. Gamba. Jeremy Johan M. Gatus Julian Alonzo M. Grulia Loyalty Awardee Neo Rohan R. Jorge Jabez Villon C. Pastores With Academic Honors Ralph Napoleon D. Quintilla Darwin Gerald G. Villanueva Janela Maries S. Hazon Helena Marie S. Somido With academic honors Stella R. Vega Lord Nicole T. Veray, Service Awardee. We are very proud to present to you the Senior High School Valedictorian of Batch 2022. Two years ago, we were compelled to conquer the world of senior high school while coping with the changes that the pandemic has brought. All of our expectations about how we will spend our final years in high school went down the drain. In return, we were given the chance to board the plane filled with uncertainties and doubts brought by the new normal. The times we have spent trying to make sense of these changes were filled with longing, anxiety, and despair. However, amidst the turbulent winds that we have experienced in our senior high school journey, it is safe to say that we are finally landing. We have reached our destination. We are finally graduating. To the chairperson of the NEU Board of Trustees, Attorney Dorothy Christine M. Orosa, to our university president, Dr. Nilo L. Rosas, to our University Vice President, Brother Julian J. Miemban III, Attorney Serafin V. Cuevas Jr., and Brother Franklin T. Bunad, to our University Minister, Brother Ricardo V. Carpio Jr., to the Integrated School Administrators, seasoned teachers, dear parents, and fellow graduates, a blessed day to all of you. I am beyond honored and grateful to be speaking before you on this momentous occasion that will be capping off our youthful and juvenile high school life. We entered senior high school with aspirations to become better, but we know among ourselves that in every passing hour, there were times that our dreams were slowly slipping away from our grasp. We experienced a lot of breakdowns and burnouts that left us overthinking and second-guessing ourselves. There were countless sleepless nights that ended with us thinking if we would ever reach the end of the tunnel, if we would ever find the light amidst the darkness. The past two years were probably the hardest, both for our personal and academic life. 
but praises thee to our Almighty God. We were able to make peace and find happiness in the midst of pessimism and hopelessness and in the face of challenges brought by the pandemic. The search for knowledge and self-enrichment was not easy because of the pandemic. Although we have access to a multitude of resources, the guidance that teachers gave in real time is something we are thankful for. Let us not forget to acknowledge our teachers who served as our guiding light. Their compassion and understanding are what got us through the school year. Let us take the time to thank them for honing us and preparing us for our future endeavors. Ma'am, Sir, thank you for believing in us. Thank you for preparing us for greatness and for propelling us to excellence. Also, let us not forget to show our appreciation to our dear parents for their insurmountable love and sacrifices for us. Mommy, Daddy, Ma, Pa, Nanay, and Tatay, thank you for inspiring us when we are frustrated, for guiding us when we are unsure, and for becoming our pillar and source of strength when we feel weak. To our loving parents, Please be patient with us for a little longer, for we are still in the process of achieving our dreams. Our successes and achievements are all for you. Let us also take this opportunity to give thanks to Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, the Executive Minister of Iglesia Ni Cristo, for his tireless efforts in reminding us to use our knowledge in doing what is right. We are constantly reminded not to be swayed and be distracted by trivial and worldly matters. Instead, we should focus on pleasing our Almighty Father. Thank you so much, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. We love you so much po. Of course, we would have never succeeded and finished our schooling without the providence of our Almighty Father. He provided us with the needed knowledge, wisdom, strength that made us survive high school. Despite all the hardships and uncertainties that we have faced throughout the pandemic, we knew that we have been guided and protected by our Almighty God. We've been made so courageous that we were able to surpass what we thought were unsurpassable. As proof, we are finally gathered here to witness and celebrate our graduation. All the glory and praise will forever be in his name. To my fellow graduates, let's hang in there, for we are a step closer to fulfilling our hopes and dreams. Our experiences in the pandemic are what made us who we are, a stronger and a more disciplined version of ourselves. Let us constantly look for the silver lining and the positive sides of things. We became more resilient, disciplined, steadfast, and grounded as the result of the challenges we have faced throughout the pandemic. As NEU graduates, we are not only dreamers. We now have a shared responsibility. As our hymn goes, Glory to God, the Lord Almighty, and selfless service to humanity. Let us hold these ideals in their highest regard. Let us be the beacon of hope and excellence and show our fellow youth the true meaning of selflessness and discipline. We should offer our acquired learning for the betterment of the society we live in. Together, let us build a better world where brilliance and greatness are valued. It may be a cliche, but let us be the change that we want to see in the world. Now, it is time to depart and aim for something bigger. It may be more massive skies where the winds may be stronger and harsher, but let us continue riding the winds 
and navigating the skies until we reach our dreams. Once again, the warmest congratulations to all of us, my fellow graduates. Thank you and God bless. Dear graduates, wherever you may be, Please stand for the oath-taking as alumni of the New Era University to be led by Attorney Randy G. Serrano. Kindly raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, please state your name. Though solemnly pledge my loyalty, to the New Era University Alumni Association. I swear to uphold the noble ideals of my alma mater and to dedicate myself to further personal and intellectual development. I promise to commit myself to the work of serving humanity wherever my life touches those of others and to advocate freedom and justice as well as to obey the laws of our country. I will endeavor to win my own place among alumni who, by their devotion to this ideal, have brought honor and recognition to the New Era University. I will conduct my life in a manner worthy of God, of my country, and of my family. So help me, God. Congratulations.
And to their advisors and teachers, the graduates will sing the tribute song to parents, Awit ng Anak sa Magulang, to be performed by your sons and daughters.
Salamat po. We would like to thank our keynote speaker, Brother Joy Edwil D.C. Zabala. Our gratitude also goes to the administrative officials, the teachers, staff, and parents. This program would never be possible without your support. On behalf of the entire New Era University, we wholeheartedly express our deepest gratitude to our beloved Executive Minister of the Iglesia Ni Cristo, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. For his love, guidance, and support to the New Era University, its vision, mission, and philosophy. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mahal na mahal po namin kayo. Congratulations, Patch 2022!